But I guess we both appreciate, you know, the fact that every composer, songwriter, needs that special someone to interpret, uh, interpret their songs. You know? Bert Freeman Bacharach was born May 12, 1928, and passed away on February 8, 2023. Was an American composer, songwriter, record producer, and pianist who composed hundreds of pop songs from the late 1950s through the 1980s, many in collaboration with lyricist Hal David. The winner is Bert Bacharach for Butch Cassidy. A six-time Grammy Award winner and three-time Academy Award winner. I'm deeply happy. I just can tell you that. Uh... It was a knockout picture to work on. Bacharach songs have been recorded by more than 1,000 different artists. Raindrops are falling on my head. As of 2014, he had written 73 US and 52 UK top 40 hits. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's new, pussycat? I hung right through my little red book. I was going to sit and cry. And I went from A to C. He was one of the most important composers of 20th century popular music. Bacharach was born in Kansas City, Missouri, and grew up in Kew Gardens, Queens, New York City, graduating from Forest Hills High School in 1946. He was the son of Irma M. and Mark Bertram Bert Bacharach, a well-known syndicated newspaper columnist. Bacharach was drafted into the United States Army in 1950 and served for two years. He was stationed in Germany and played piano in officers' clubs there and at Fort Dix and Governor's Island. During this time, he arranged and played music for dance bands. In 1956, he became a conductor for Marlena Dietrich. In 1957, Bacharach and lyricist Hal David met while at the Brill Building in New York City and began their writing partnership. Bacharach wrote for such artists as The Drifters, Jean McDaniel, Chuck Dixon and Dionne Warwick, who got her first hit song from Bacharach with Don't Make Bacharach and David then wrote more songs to make use of Warwick's singing talents, which led to one of the most successful teams in popular music history. Over the next 20 years, Warwick's recordings of his songs sold over 12 million copies, with 38 singles making the charts and 22 in the top 40. Among the hits were Walk On By, Anyone Who Had A Heart, Alfie, I Say A Little Prayer, I'll Never Fall In Love Again and Do You Know The Way To San Jose? She had more hits during her career than any other female vocalist except Aretha Franklin. Although Bacharach's compositions are typically more complex than the average pop song, he has expressed surprise in the fact that many jazz musicians have sought inspiration from his works, saying I've sometimes felt that my songs are restrictive for a jazz artist. I was excited when Stan Getz did a whole album of my music. Bacharach composed and arranged the soundtrack of the 1967 film Casino Royale, which included The Look of Love, performed by Dusty Springfield, and the title song, an instrumental top 40 single for Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. The resulting soundtrack album is widely considered to be one of the finest engineered vinyl recordings of all time, and is much sought after by audiophile collectors. The year 1969 marked, perhaps, the most successful Bacharach David collaboration, the Oscar-winning Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, written for and prominently featured in the acclaimed film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The two were awarded a Grammy for Best Cast Album of the Year for Promises, Promises and the Score was also nominated for a Tony Award. Other Oscar nominations for Best Song in the latter half of the 1960s were for The Look of Love, What's New Pussycat, and Alfie. Naturally it would say Barbara Streisand and Burt Beckrack at the piano. Burt Beckrack at the piano? It's down here. <laughs> in 1971, Barbara Streisand appeared on the Burt Bacharach special, where they discussed their careers and favorite songs and performed songs together. Bacharach married four times. The first time was to Paula Stewart for five years, 1953 to 1958. His second marriage, to actress Angie Dickinson, lasted 15 years, 1965 to 1980. Burt, what do you say to Martini and Rossi? Yes. They had a daughter named Nikki Bacharach, who tragically suffocated herself with helium on January 4, 2007, after struggling with Asperger's syndrome for many years. I just never felt secure being with Bert. I felt like he, he enjoyed other women looking at him. Bacharach's third marriage, to lyricist Carol Bayer Sager, spanned nine years, 
the duo collaborated on a number of musical pieces and adopted a son named Christopher Elton Bacharach. Bacharach married his fourth wife, Jane Hansen, in 1993. They had two children, a son named Oliver and a daughter named Raleigh. His first professional recording was Once in a Blue Moon by Nat King Cole in 1952. His songs have been recorded by artists as diverse as Marty Robbins, Cliff Richard, and Manfred Mann. His final chart hit was in 1998 from Elvis Costello, Toledo. All through the night. Bacharach died of natural causes at his home in Los Angeles on February 8, 2023, at the age of 94. Grace will now share some condolences. Bert's transition is like losing a family member. Dionne Warwick said. These words I've been asked to write are being written with sadness over the loss of my dear friend and my musical partner. Saddened to hear about the passing of the great American composer, Burt Bacharach, Tony Bennett wrote. Rest in peace. And Beach Boys co-founder Brian Wilson called Bacharach a hero and a very influential force on his own work. He was a giant in the music business, Wilson added. His songs will live forever. Those artists and many more remember the man and his great music. Thank you. <laughs> that was our show, remembering the legacy of Burt Bacharach. What about you? What was your favorite Burt Bacharach composition? Did you follow his career? Did you realize he had contributed that much to popular music? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoy my shows please subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise. Until next time, this is Andrew in for Kevin Gibbon saying live long and prosper. May the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.